Me personally, I'm going with the new person and I ain't looking back for shit. I'm just <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know. I don't you know, yes, I, I love the past person, but see you in the next lifetime. Alright, see you later. Have a good one. What can you tell me about the new person? You see, change. This is different. Yeah, this would be a different journey. Aries, this would be a different journey than what your soul originally signed up for. The spirit is saying, don't be afraid to, to jump in. They gotta suck it up. If you move on with someone else, they, they gotta deal with that ish. That's on them, that's not on you. Don't feel guilty for allowing yourself to love again with someone new. Don't feel guilty because I feel like that's what's happening for some of you. Some of you feel guilty for leaving this person out in the cold, but you're not leaving. You were already left out in the cold. If, if this past or current person, if you felt like it was a one-sided thing, it's because it was a one-sided thing. It was always one side. This person was never there. There was never any relationship. So don't feel sorry when, you know, you move on and, and you're living a happily ever after. Now you have the Knight of Swords and the Moon. So I do feel like Aries, there's going to be a new energy, possibly towards the end of July, headed your way. And this could be an air sign or a water sign. Specifically, Gemini Aquarius or Pisces Cancer. You know, even if you still have feelings for this other person spirit is saying you know be open to giving things a try with this new soulmate sudden wealth i was saying it i was saying like i feel like somebody here is getting a promotion or their business is taking off mm, your expectations will not be um let's just say your expectations w will be better than what you ever thought it could be yeah you hello my beautiful aries how are you welcome back to the channel star seaside here if you're new make sure to subscribe and join this whole tribe we have a reading for you guys okay this is your july 2022 predictions read it is a general read so take what resonates don't leave what doesn't behind cross watchers you are welcome this message is also timeless personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below and if you wish to support the channel further you can click the heart icon underneath this video and whatever you leave with me i am truly grateful for for those of you interested in any of the decks that I use, you can find that all in the description box below. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see all the decks listed there. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, goddess, and this read for my Aries. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Mm. Uranus, number eight, and Leo. Leo energy is coming up strong because card number eight is the strength card. That's Leo energy. Then you have Uranus, which is Aquarius energy, and Aquarius's opposite sign is Leo. Now, what I'm seeing here is July is going to be the month where I feel like you're taking the spotlight, okay? I feel like you're sort of standing out. Yeah, but it's like in your own unique way, right? Because when we look at Uranus, Uranus is all about being in that rebellious energy. Standing out from the crowd, daring to be different, daring to be bold. And it's like, I feel like, Leo, you're really, like, you're stepping out and shining your light. Did I say Leo? I meant Aries. But it's like you're coming, you're you're stepping into this Leo energy. You know how Leo is ruled by the sun? That's what I'm getting here. Like you're shining your light very, very brightly. You're taking center stage. Now, you could be getting a promotion at work, a raise at work, okay? Or those of you that are in the online world, right, because you... Like I said, you have Aquarius there, and Aquarius is also about technology. So I feel like there are some of you here, you are in the online world. Well, your online business is going to really take off. 
Or perhaps you have an online business and you also work. So you're going to get the promotion and your online business is going to take off. You know what I'm getting? Snowball effect. Yeah, I'm hearing here something about Colorado. Something about Colorado. So let's see what we have. We have expectation. Card number 28. Somebody could have been born on the 28th or the 25th. Here we have high honor. Sudden wealth. I was saying it. I was saying, like, I feel like somebody here is getting a promotion or their business is taking off. Mm, your expectations will not be... Um, let's just say your expectations will be better than what you ever thought it could be. Yeah, you have thoughts. 16. So you can manifest great wealth. Your thoughts can influence your reality on a very high level is what I'm seeing here, Aries. Oof, gifts. Wow. Interesting. But I looked at the bottom and then you have poverty. Courthouse. Oh, and then you have marriage. Interesting. Some of you might get engaged, or you might hear of someone getting engaged, okay, the month of July. This could be a close friend or family member that is getting engaged. I feel like it's not you guys that are getting engaged, Aries. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest. I know. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it's you guys that's getting engaged. I think it's... I think it's your friend or a family member that you're gonna hear that the, they're getting engaged to someone. Look, sorry, you know, but this could be symbolizing that in the future, right? You get engaged. Perhaps you, you know, some of you are like a hopeless romantic and you think you're never gonna get married and you're gonna be single forever. But it's showing that you are going to eventually get married. You are going to, you know, be somebody's husband, wife, whatever, you know? Or, you know, maybe some of you, you want a husband and a wife. Um, so you will be whatever. Everybody has their situation. I'm, I'm not even going to get into that, but, you know. Um, you have high expectations here, I do see that, and because you have high expectations and you're not settling for less, you're receiving everything that you want plus more. Yeah, Spirit saying yes, because you have the Eight of Wands. Spirit saying yes, this is a yes card. Oh. There's a King of Cups, okay, so... I'm not looking at gender, right? So just because I say king doesn't mean that you're dealing with a man. Some of you could be dealing with a woman. Someone here wants to talk to you, Aries. Someone wants to talk. Yeah. Six of Wands. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's see. Six of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. The High Priestess. Oh. Queen of Swords. The Emperor. Okay. Where do I even begin? So... Let me, you know what, let me get clarifiers for this King of Cups, because wh what is going on with this King of Cups, Spirit? Who is this King of Cups? The Three of Cups, Ten of Swords, so it's the same exact person. Be careful. You're getting the same message as Leo. You know, and perhaps you and this person will marry later down in life, but right now, just be cautious um 
of someone from your past coming back and wanting to work things out with you now your read is not you know like the thing with your read it's not as like dramatic as leo's where it's like their person you know for some of them like their person went to jail and crap um but it's like i feel like okay what's underneath here hold on oh lord aries be careful you know because you have this person from the past but you need to be cautious you need to be cautious. I feel like they're going to come in very, very strong. But I feel like this person might have some sort of STD or STI. Yeah, because if you notice, this person, I feel like, is the same over here. I feel like this is all talking about one person. This person, you know what? This marriage could be representing that you guys are married in the 5D. Or you used to be married in the 5D. But what I'm seeing here is like... There's deception because there's two queens here. Two queens and then the emperor and then you have this high priestess. The high priestess is a very secretive energy. But you have a queen of swords and a queen of wands and an emperor. This is a player. This is an F boy. This is an F girl. And they want they want you both. They this this person wants the both of you is what I'm getting from this. Pisces is ruled by Neptune, a planet of dreams, imagination, and fantasies. And that includes sexual fantasies. And so you have this divine masculine, he, she, they, them, whoever they are. Then they're here with these two queens. I feel like you're this queen of swords. Even though this is air energy, I feel like that is you. But this seems to be some sort of third party. Now, for some of you, it might not even be SCDs. This could be this person's mom or dad that is very possessive of them. I need more information. <clears throat> yeah, you see my fro chakra. My fro chakra wants to cut out. This individual is coming in fast. They're coming in. They're making quick movement here. Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, this individual needs a place to live. This is giving me an energy of them wanting to have an intimate encounter with you. It's also giving me an energy of marriage. That they see you as marriage, the one that they would marry. But it's almost like... The fool, yeah. The, the, this, this person, Aries, is going to take a leap of faith towards you. They're going to take a leap of faith towards you. In July. I would be shocked if it didn't happen in July. What do we have here, Spirit? Ace of Pentacles on the side. Yeah, this person doesn't know if they want commitment or not. Aries, this person, they don't know if they want commitment. Knight of Swords the moon yeah oh yeah it's it's very possible it's gonna happen during cancer season but this individual i feel like they they don't know what they want three of pentacles it's like one day they want commitment the next day they don't the tower in reverse yeah th this individual has to walk away from something this person has to walk away from something the tower in reverse is when we know that we have to cut something out of our lives and i feel like it's not you aries i don't think it's you guys it's this person they have something that they need to they need to let go of but they're not doing it Eight of Pentacles kind of on the side. This individual could be struggling financially. What else, Spirit? Truly grateful for all of your guidance. The Six of Wands again. 
Why the Six of Wands again? That's the second time, the Six of Wands, the King of Wands. It's all about this person. This card was face down, the Wheel of Fortune. So it seems to me, at once upon a time, you guys were destined to be together in this lifetime, but it feels to me like that ish went out the window, or it's like uncertain what exactly is going to happen between the two of you. Um, because the wheel is moving. The wheel's moving, is what I'm saying. But the Six of Wands and the King of Wands, th this is someone that's very uh, egotistical, okay? Very much full of themselves. They think they're the hottest thing since dollar store bread, okay? You know how they started selling bread at the dollar store and it was like, that was the thing back in the day, right? You can get a loaf of bread at the dollar store. Like, this person thinks they're the ish. Um, and it seems to me like they're they're still in that mentality. Now, you have the Knight of Swords and the Moon. So, I do feel like Aries, there's going to be a new energy, possibly towards the end of July, headed your way. And this could be an air sign or a water sign. Specifically, Gemini Aquarius or Pisces Cancer. But you still have this in the visual. I don't know if it's a past person or if it's your current person that you're dealing with. But it's almost like they, they have something else going on behind the scenes. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Truly grateful for all your guidance. Yeah, you have a new offer coming in. But you see the Three of Swords. You're going to be uncertain as to what you wish to do if you wish to pursue something with this individual over here if you wish to pursue something with the new person like i see some of you being torn here yeah spirit saying yes you have the six of swords but for a lot of you spirit is saying to give it a shot with the new individual right give it a try with this new soulmate because this I feel like this individual has had enough time. I feel like they've had enough time to approach you. And it's like... Now they want to come in when you have new energy headed your way? Yeah, Spirit's saying yes. Eight of Wands at the bottom. Spirit's saying to give the new soulmate a try. You know, even if you still have feelings for this other person... Spirit is saying, you know, be open to giving things a try with this new soulmate. Yeah, they you see the Eight of Swords. Like, they, they don't want you to be stuck on this person all your life, Aries. Things may not work out with this person. You know, this could be <clears throat> like a divine counterpart because the Wheel of Fortune is there. But... You know, people come to Earth and they have their free will and they do effed up SHIT. And that's just the truth. Yeah, you see the Emperor. This could, you know, he or she, whoever the F they are, you know, they're in their clown energy. But, you know, it could have been like you guys were meant to be together. But it's like they came here, they effed up. So they got to suck it up. They got to suck it up. If you move on with someone else, they, they got to deal with that ish. That's on them. That's not on you. Don't feel guilty for allowing yourself to love again with someone new. Don't feel guilty because I feel like that's what's happening for some of you. Some of you feel guilty for leaving this person out in the cold, but you're not leaving. You were already left out in the cold. If, if this past or current person, if you felt like it was a one-sided thing, it's because it was a one-sided thing. It was always one side. This person was never there. There was never any relationship. So don't feel sorry when, you know, you move on and, and you're living a happily ever after. Time, Aries. Some of you need to hear this. Time waits for no one. Okay? You cannot wait all your life for someone to get their ish. It's 2022. I don't care what these other spiritual people say, these other tarot readers. Well, some of them, you know, they have the right idea. They get, but look, it's 2022. 
if people aren't getting into their spiritual awakening, and that includes your divine masculine, your divine counterpart, he, she, they, them, it. If, if they're not even in their spiritual awakening, they're not even trying to spiritually awaken. It, it's kind of time to just accept what it is and move forward with the new person. Yeah, for some of you, this new, yeah, you see a dead end blocked for your highest good even spirit is saying it you know relocation like move onward moving to a new location plans to relocate relocating for work a change in the home it could be at one point in the destiny that you were you and this person were supposed to marry and leave together but don't you know brick wall look it's been blocked blocked for your highest good not able to make progress time to do things differently you see even spirit is saying like, eh, blocked, you know, access denied. This person has been blocked. Yeah, they want you to pursue your happiness. They want you to pursue your happiness. And you will be very happy. Yeah, you see, your dreams will come true. Your dreams will come true. I can't make it up. You literally have abundance at the bottom, Aries. Your dreams, Aries, will come true. You know, don't don't feel upset because things didn't work out with this person. Because your dreams are going to come true regardless. And sometimes dreams change. You can love more than one person. You can love this person from afar. The true self of them. You know, not this false thing that they're appearing as okay here we have the boundaries yeah you see boundaries spirit saying put up boundaries with this this past person put up boundaries painful sacrifice okay forms they were a foreign on your side they needed to be they needed to be disposed of aries they needed to just be disposed of you needed to just cut them out completely yeah you see you see you living your single life your blessings are going to come in but it's like as soon as you get involved with this person it's like your blessings may be blocked this person from your past i'm hearing a name i'm hearing diego i'm also hearing the name angela or angelina yeah you see luck good fortune positive change Unexpected happiness, fulfilled wishes, dreams. Your dreams are calling you the power of imagination. Vivid dream, dream messages reaching for your dreams. Abundance. Your arrival to abundance, financial blessings, rewards for your efforts. Money flows easily into your life. Yeah, for some of you, the new person is Nigerian. I'm hearing Puerto Rican. For some of you, they could be Irish. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing an Apple Watch. I'm seeing it very clearly. Either silver or gray. I can't remember the color. I can't remember the colors of the Apple Watches, but I'm pretty sure they had a silver color tone at one point or another. I'm almost positive they did. But I'm seeing it very clearly. Or somebody could just have an Apple Watch. Hmm. What can you tell me about the new person? You see, change. This is different. Yeah, this would be a different journey. Aries, this would be a different journey than what your soul originally signed up for. But Spirit is saying, don't be afraid to, to jump in. Don't be afraid to jump in. Yeah privileged this is somebody that's wealthy they have money because you have privileged lady and then you have family room aries this is someone that is and i'm gonna end the reading here but aries this is someone that is ready for commitment this is someone that's ready for marriage ready to raise a family with you and this is someone that has their ish together are you really going to trade this away 
for this player? Are you really going to give this up for this player? Low vibrational, they might have an STD, they just want to come in and have sex with you. You have free will, so at the end of the day, it's your, it's your choice, but me personally, I'm going with the new person, and I ain't looking back for shit. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know, I don't, you know, yes, I, I love the past person, but see you in the next lifetime. All right, see you later. Have a good one.